Hey guys, this is Steve, and welcome to our review of the 2022 Trek Excalibur 9. Watch until the end to know our final verdict on whether it's worth the purchase. The Trek Excalibur 9 is a mountain bike in the Excalibur family that's built with parts that make it a cross-country race mountain bike. It's designed to easily tackle off-road riding, instead of being a multi-sport bike. It has a frame compatible with higher-end parts, like a dropper post and race wheels. You can also use the remote lockout to lock out the fork on flat surfaces without taking your hands off the handlebars. The clutch rear derailleur helps to prevent chain slapping, even on rough terrain, to give you a silent ride. The Excalibur 9 is a lightweight and fast cross-country mountain bike that has seen a few upgrades in 2022 that include an increase in its price from 2021. A frame color change, suspension fork, motion control dampener, tubeless ready tires, dropper post, and a wide handlebar for better control of the bike. All these changes alter the weight of the bike to make it slightly lighter by shedding off a few grams to give you better control and maneuverability when riding. What we liked? A sleek looking bike with great color, motion control damper for better dampening on the trail, tubeless ready tires, wider handlebar for better control. What we didn't like? The bike is more expensive. Specifications. As per the specs, there are a few upgrades that justify the increase in its price. It has a better suspension, a dropper post, and tubeless ready tires for better stability and control on most terrain. Features Tires The 2020 tires are from Bontrager XR3 Comp that is 2.20 inches wide and 30 TPI. The new upgraded tires are Maxxis Ardent Race Tires, and they're tubeless ready, which means the Excalibur 9 has a fully tubeless ready setup. To ensure they are high quality and to give them better flexibility, they are 60 TPI. They're also wider at 2.35 inches for greater stability which will ensure you're in better control of the bike on any terrain. The only thing that stays the same in both bikes is that they both still use the 29-inch and 27.5-inch wheels for the small sizes. Seat Post The previous seat post was made of Bontrager Alloy Fixed Post and has been swapped with a dropper post with either a Trans-X JD dropper that has 100mm travel for the small and medium sizes and 130mm for the other sizes or the Bontrager line dropper with the same travel for the small and medium sizes and 125mm for other sizes. Suspension The suspension fork has had an upgrade from the RockShox Judy Silver to the RockShox Recon Gold RL. They both are air forks with 100mm travel in all sizes, have a tapered steerer, and a remote lockout that allows you to lock out the suspension fork when you don't need it on flat terrain to make it fully rigid. The differences can be found with the new fork that has 32mm wide stanchions to ensure it's stronger and stiffer than the previous one and a better motion control damper for better damping when you're riding. You also get a better Maxil Stealth through axle instead of the old Maxil Light that doesn't have a lever for easy removal of the front wheel. Handlebar The handlebar is the same, but it has a slight difference in its width, which is 750mm from the previous 720mm, which makes it wider and gives you better control of the bike. However, the small and medium frame sizes will still retain the 720mm width for the handlebars. Verdict so, is the 2022 Trek Excalibur 9 an ideal bike? Yes, it's an ideal bike thanks to all the upgrades that make it a better mountain bike that gives you better control with greater suspension, tubeless ready tires, and a more stable seat post, and wider handlebars for more control. Who is it best suited for? A great bike for anyone who wants to get into serious racing, or if you want a fast XC bike that will help you cover more distance in less time. Are there alternatives? The Yeti SB115, Scott Spark XC Comp, Giant Talon 1. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Also, let us know which other mountain bike you would like us to review next.